an accidental discovery that could help us solve our global plastic problem. The woman you're about to meet, Federica Bordacchini, is a scientist, an amateur beekeeper. She found that the pests infesting her beehives, called waxworms, had an appetite for more than just wax. They also love plastic. I asked her about the hobby that led to this amazing find. I'm an amateur beekeeper, it's my hobby, and uh, I keep my beehives at home, uh, not all of them, some of those, th those uh, empty of bees. I keep them at home, I store them there, and uh, for the winter, in the spring, in cleaning them, I found that the honeycombs were infested by these uh, waxworms, which is not surprising because they, these waxworms are a plague for beekeepers. So, and actually they grow on the honeycombs, feeding on the honey and wax. So I clean the honeycombs, put the larvae in a plastic bag and leave them there. And after a while I came back and I found the plastic bag riddled with holes and the, the larvae, the, these worms were all around in my place. And to confirm, these wax worms, they didn't just chew through the plastic, they actually digested it? Well, at the time, uh, I didn't know. That's why I called up my, my colleague, Paolo Bombell in Cambridge, and, he said, and I said, Paolo, we need to we check this out. So we had to actually do some proper lab work to, to uh, investigate this. So it's not chewing, uh, it's, uh, it's biodegradation. Wow. So how long does it take for, you know, wax worms to, to digest a, a plastic bag compared to having a plastic bag decompose <laughs> on its own? So a plastic bag, uh, the whole of a plastic bag, uh, we, we never tried. But we can. What I can tell you is that if, if you put if you put some worms in a plastic bag in 15, 20 minutes, they just come out. They make these holes. But so it's fast. That's incredible. So it takes about 15 minutes. And again, how long does it take for a plastic bag to decompose? Oh, I think we're talking about hundreds of years. Wow, that's a huge yeah. difference. Can these plastic-eating wax worms? save the planet? Can they rescue us from our plastic addiction? <laughs> That's a great question. Uh, we don't know. So as a scientist, oh, we always be careful because this was uh, the observation proved by laboratory experiments. Now from there to the, to the possible application of biotechnologies, you know, is going gonna, is gonna to pass some time. So the idea uh, clearly won't be to use the worms themselves, but to, to find the, the, the molecules responsible and then use that, those as a tool to biodegrade the plastics. So what would be the best way to extract what is needed out of these wax worms to um, decompose plastics and to deliver that, that, that powerful technology from nature? So we start from the worm, that's for sure. But then the idea is to isolate the molecules, study them, uh, use biotechnology to reproduce them in vitro, and then reproduce them, make them in industrial scale. And then at that point, uh, once we characterize all these, uh, we will have a tool. Remarkable, right? No, that was my conversation with Frederica Bertacchini there. Um, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency says as many as a trillion plastic bags are used each year, and only about 5% are recycled. Now, as she mentioned, scientists are a long way off from doing this, but just imagine the implications if they could isolate the process that the worms are using to digest the plastic. Perhaps a lesson from nature could help save us from ourselves.